Hello and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In this video, I'll be showcasing a small feature that I recently developed for a project of mine. It's something that's quite cool and interesting, and I've packaged it in a way that I can actually share with you guys. I've packaged this feature into this highlighter.py class, and this will be available in the link at the, in the description below. Okay, so you guys can actually download this file uh, and then actually use it in your own code. So let's actually see what this feature is all about. So I run this code and we see this window. I'm using tkinter and matplotlib because I figure if, if you're making a complex graph application that requires this feature, then you're going to have a GUI library used alongside matplotlib, like tkinter or pyside or pyqt. Okay, so I'm just going to add a few random points using this button over here that I created using, using tkinter. So now here's the feature. Basically, you can allow the user to interact with the graph. Using the rectangle select, what you can do is this. The rectangle select is a feature in matplotlib that allows you to create this UI, okay? But that's all it does, okay? It just creates the UI. What I've done is built upon this code to add a selection mechanism. So if I let go of this, it's gonna highlight these points that were within the selectable region. And now I can perform actions on them, like delete. I'm gonna press the delete key and it's gonna delete these values. What I've also done is like multi-stage selection. So if you want to select this point and this point, how are you going to do that? So if you do this and then you do this, it's going to deselect that one, right? So what I've done is I've added a feature where you hold down control, then select that one, then select that one. Okay, pretty cool, right? Then you can like delete both of them. And you, of course, you can like select and then just click anywhere or right click to clear that selection. So these are like, this is basically what I've done. You can make this as creative as you can. You can, once once this value is selected, you can go ahead and do, do anything with it, really. Uh, delete is just one possible thing that you can do. So with that in mind, the feature that I've shown you, let me just quickly go over this a bit so that you have an idea of what's going on. Basically here we initialized an empty graph. Then we created the rectangle select object, passed in the axis that it's going to be dr drawing upon, and passed in the function that we want to call uh, when we let go of the mouse. Like when we hold down the mouse, drag, and then let go, this function will be called. Then this is an up update function. So let me go to my main file. Every time we add a point, okay, so this function will be called with the new changes, with the new values of the scatter plot. The select function here, basically this part of the code tracks the previous uh, values. It tracks the previous, um, you know, highlighted, highlighted ones if control is pressed down. So then we, this is important. Basically it's this function I've defined that will take self.x and self.y, the self.x values and self.y values of the scatter plot. So it's going to basically return a mask. Um, which is basically, uh, as this description says, it's a Boolean mask. And like if there are 10 values in our scatter plot, it's going to return a list of 10 values, which are true or false. True if it's located within the region uh, that we selected, false otherwise. So with this mask, we then uh, filter the values. This, this is a panda series, by the way. So you can you do this to like filter it out. So the true values will be filtered. Okay. Um, then with the true values, we then set that over here. This is the m important part. Set offsets is a function that I've defined that just um, draws the graph, basically. Sorry, wrong, that was the wrong one. This is, we just, we just removed the pr previous offsets. Then we uh, initialized it again, and then we called the set offsets function, okay? And this set offsets is actually a function um, that belongs to the return value of the scatterplot function, okay? And it takes an x, y uh, list of values. So this is a, a matplotlib function, okay? That's not mine. And then we just draw the changes. Just in case this wasn't clear, this x and y is the list of coordinates, the list of points which we want to select. Another important thing to keep in mind is that we're not actually modifying those points and turning them yellow. What we're doing is drawing larger yellow circles on top of the points that we want to select, giving the illusion that we've actually changed their color. 
So yeah, that's the gist of this feature. And of course, uh, let me show you the delete feature. So you come over here, this is the delete function. What we do is get the mask from the highlighter, okay, to get the selected regions. Then we filter uh, it out, like using this, uh, I think it's called a tilde or something. Using this, we can like invert the selection. So normally the mask is about which values were located within the region. But using this tilde operator inverts that, so we get the ones that are outside the region, which are the ones remaining, because this is a delete function. We want to delete the ones inside the region, so we um, find the ones outside the region, and then we remove the, uh, the, we remove the ones within the region, and then we uh, just regenerate our list of points, excluding these artists, update the changes, clear the old highlights, and redraw the canvas. So if you just take inspiration from this function, you guys can actually add other features like copy-paste mechanics, like movable, um, you know, many things that you can possibly add to make this even more interactive other than this, just deleting the selected ones. So there are many things that you can achieve with this. Hope you guys found, find this code useful. And again, it's the code is located in the description below. Hope you guys found this useful.